Good morning, man. Happy, happy Wednesday. Cheers. Another episode of Morning Coffee Talks. Thanks for joining me. It's currently 5.33 here in Cincinnati. Um, this morning we're going to talk about fathers, sons. What that entails. I mean, even if you have a daughter too, this could be part of it. I have two sons, so... I have uh, two sons, one is going to the sixth grade, he's about to turn 12, and one going to be going to kindergarten, he just turned five. I'm also the oldest of 12. I have 11 younger brothers and sisters. I'll be 38 soon. My youngest brother is about to be a sophomore in high school. So I got it all, motherfuckers. Up and down. Got it all, brother. So what we're going to be talking about today is being a father. And some of being a son. Because over here, what we're doing is we're starting a men's movement. That's what we're about on this channel, Men of Action. We're starting a men's movement. That's why I help run these men's accountability meetings. So I'll go over that a little bit real quick. I was doing it with veterans. A buddy of mine started a men's accountability meeting with veterans, this group that I'm a part of in this organization. And then I had to talk with a buddy one night, and he was struggling real hard. And I was like, man, we should start a men's accountability group around here. And literally it just took off from there now we have like 15 or 16 guys in it I mean this started like a little over two months ago it's been awesome every mo every Saturday we do service Saturdays we usually we've been going out and helping in these community gardens but you know we're gonna do more than that as well but every Saturday we get together because like I said we're men of action over here <clears throat> so what does it mean to be a father the fire father is the highest honor that you could have. God, the Father. Me, a Father. You see what I'm saying? So that's a title that God has for Himself. I get to use that. So to me, that means, I mean, there is no greater responsibility and gift in this world than being a Father. What does that mean? Because a Father is, when it comes to manhood, a Father should be anyway. That is like the definition of manhood, to be completely selfless, that it is not about you at all, right? And men are relinquishing this rule, fucking abdicating this rule, choosing not to fill this rule. Most of it is from their fathers and their fathers before them. That's how it works. It trick it's a trickle effect. I mean, you know, it just fucking keeps going in cycle, never ending fucking cycle of misery. We're going to fucking change that here. Fathers need to step up. I mean, I wouldn't be the best father at all times either. I mean, I'm not saying I'm the best father. I'm, I'm trying to be the best father. And now I just know that, you know, my sons are watching every move I make, every breath I take, and, you know, any, 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 anything I do. They're watching everything. So I have to keep that in mind at all times. And it, I mean, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. But the thing about it is, when there isn't a father around, the uncles, grandfathers, somebody's got to step into that rule. We got to step up, man. So, being a father, it's not easy. Simple, not easy. That is literally our motto over here. Simple, not easy, right? So, what do you need to do? Well, first you need to write down the vision of the man you want to become. On paper, write it down. Write it down in your notebook. What does it look like? What do I want to become? You put that on paper and you start working towards that. Because if you want your sons to be good and great human beings, guess what? You need to be a good and great human being. That's how it works. They're going to turn into you. They're going to fucking turn into you, guaranteed. That's how it works, man. That's why we need to be leaders, protectors, providers. We need to teach our sons to be leaders, protectors, providers. My son, my oldest son, 12 years old, he knows that. He can literally tell you that right now. And he knows what that means. He sees me by taking, well, how I take action every day. Not by what I say, but what I do. You can speak anything. Oh, don't do this. And then you go do it, you jackass. What are they going to do? They're going to do the thing they seen you do, not the thing you said not to do. It's pretty simple. 
But I got a quick question for all you men out there, because this is the real problem here. How many of you men, when you became of age, I don't know, 14, 15, 16, you know, somewhere in that range, how many of your fathers came up to you and said, hey, son, you're becoming a man now, or you're a man now, or becoming one. This is what it means to be a man. And literally explain to you verbatim what it means to be a man, to be a leader, protector, and provider to reject passivity, accept responsibility, and lead courageously. How many of your fathers have actually came to you and said, hey, you're a man now, time to put the boyhood shit away, this is what it means to be a man, now it's time to step the fuck up. Literally, came and said that to you. I'm guessing not many, hardly many at all. That's part of the problem too. So if you're a father, you need to do that with your sons when they start becoming of age. 13, 14, 15, somewhere around that age. Start leading them. Let's initiate them into manhood. They have to be initiated. You don't just become a man. You have, no one te tells you, hey, I'm a man now, right? Girls have periods. They know, all right, I'm becoming a woman. I'm having a period and shit. We don't have that. Boys don't have that. So we look through validation through other women from women. Hey, am I a man? Are they saying I'm being a man? from our friends. That's why motherfuckers join gangs and all these things to find validation. Hey, am I a man now? Because they don't fucking know. You don't know when you're a man. No one tells you. That is the problem. We need to initiate these boys into manhood. And it ain't gonna always be the nicest thing and the easiest thing. But we have to do this, man. And you have to be a great fucking husband or good to their mother, even if you're not together. Because guess what? If you have daughters, they're watching everything you do too. And they're gonna see the type of man they should marry through your ass. So most like if they marry some goofball motherfucker, it's cause you're a goofball motherfucker. That's how it works, man. This ain't no fucking game. I do not take this shit lightly. We gotta do better. We can do better, we will do better. If you're listening to my channel, then I know you're doing better and you're trying your ass off because that's what we're about over here and you ain't going to want to listen to this shit if you ain't trying, right? Just think about all these things I said and about purpose and service to others. All this is about being selfless, man. A, a real man is a selfless human being. I'm, I'm trying to work that way. I'm not saying I'm there yet. I got a lot of, I act like a boy and a lot of shit, right? Simple, not easy. Better than yesterday, though. We're going to be better than we were yesterday. That is the goal. Just to try to get a little bit better than we were the day before. That's all we can ask for, right? We do our best. But sometimes, it ain't about doing your best. It's about doing what the fuck is necessary. What is necessary? So if you're a father... I hope you're listening to this, because I'm dead ass serious. This shit is not a joke, man. We gotta step it up, me too. We all got work to do. I'm not, I'm not special, I'm not not included in this. I got work to do, lots of work to do. And I'm gonna continue to do it. But I'm gonna hold myself accountable, and I go to these men's meetings, and they help hold me accountable. And getting on here, you guys are gonna hold me accountable too if I'm not on my shit probably, right? But let's start by holding ourselves accountable. But just know if you're a father that your kids are watching everything you do. Everything. And if you're with their mother still, you better show her a lot of love. You better show her a lot of damn love. Because your kids are looking at that. And they want to see, hey, my dad loves my mother. And if it ain't like that, then you guys need to figure something out because that is not okay for the kids to see. Do you want your kids to be in a relationship like you are? Think about that. If you're in a fucked up ass relationship, no matter what, you're the ones that brought them in that fucked up ass relationship, so it's on your ass to figure it the fuck out. But if you need me, hit me up, man. We'll figure it out together. About solutions over here. All right? Anyways, hope you guys have a great fucking Wednesday. Let's get up. Let's crush the fucking day. As always, I love you guys. Go get you some, baby.